No other watch brand has ever done this before. Now I gotta go, I gotta get myself to this Moraine Lake. I just need to see this natural wonder of Canada for myself. For now, I can stare into this beauty. Here's the Frank Forda Turquoise. Full 316L stainless steel black case with stunning turquoise dial. Reference FF03. All the specs here are the same as the Azure. I reviewed that on the channel. Uh, you That'll be up here. You can hit that link and check that out at your leisure. But this dial case and accents are much different and sharp nonetheless. Full black stainless steel case bracelet design, 42 millimeter case, mesh bracelet with the quick release and fold over closure that's signed. When was the last time you felt comfortable jumping into a pool with a casual dress watch design? A screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance allows you to feel safe just in case you're around those water hazards. The dial screams bold, sunburst metallic turquoise. It's crazy that the lake gets this shade. Unbelievable. With black accents, hour markers, hands, and Frank Ford assigned at the 12 with the insignia. Water resistance, 100 meters, signed at the six o'clock position. That's it. Very simple, sweet, clean, no problem. Now the dial is sweet. Now help me out here. To me, it's more green than the azure. I get that. But yet I've heard of colors being referenced as turquoise blue as well. So, I mean, it's neither here nor there. It's tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes. I think it's turquoise that applies to both the green and the blue color. Correct me if I'm wrong. Drop a comment down below. In any event, what do you think of the turquoise color? She pops. Same textured accents between the black hour markers. Three hand quartz movement and date complication at the trendy three o'clock position. It's sharp, no cyclops required. It's clean, black on white display, no problem. Now this turquoise color of the Moraine Lake water is due to a higher density of that glacial rock flower. I gotta get there and see this. Sounds like a road trip. I should be able to get there in about three or four days if I leave now when I'm driving. Who are we kidding? We're jumping on a plane. It's simple, it's clean. A quartz movement powers the three hand movement and date complication with ease. And this 316L stainless steel is smooth with the transition from black case to the mesh bracelet. 22 millimeters all the way to the fold over clasp and signed closure. Now the watches come with this small mini driver watch tool. You can use that for the assistance of adjusting the mesh strap or bracelet. Sliding that into the little top groove of your locking bar and as a lever you push down so the locking bar comes up and then your clasp is now adjustable. All you have to do is push down with a little muscle power and you've got it fixed into position and adjusted to your size. Fortunately for you, when you order the black case design, you get the black rubber strap with this model. Now that's great. Both mesh and rubber straps have quick release. Case back is the image of Moraine Lake art embossed right into the back of this case back, a unique design to every watch. Strong and comfortable wear and great protections with that 100 meter water resistance like I mentioned. And it has more than just these two colorways I've revealed so far. There's also an emerald and a teal colorway. Four in total that make up the Moraine Lake collection. Go to the website and choose the color and specs that works for you at frankforda.com. Whether you're in the city with the hustle and flow of the urban centers or you're in the mountains by the lake, Frank Forda won't disappoint. She's a sharp, casual dress design with protections for you around water sources. No matter where your wrist takes you, you will have the reminder of Moraine Lake in Calgary, Alberta. That's my time. Everyone be safe, be well, do all those fancy things you do. See you on the next one.